So here we go. English men's singles championship final here at Ponds Forge between the number one seed and current champion Paul Drinkle playing against Liam Pitchford, number two seed. Great start there, Cookie by Pitchford. Showing his intense early doors. Yeah, great forehand there. Sending Paul the wrong way. That's one of those serves, isn't it? You don't know if to touch it or go for it. Good play by Pitchford, getting over the table, hitting the flick early and hard into the backhand, forcing the error of Drinkall, taking a slight lead, 4-2 in this opening set. Yeah, brilliant play there. Drinkall returning kind, again, good short serve, followed by a very strong flick and a great four and down the line to win the point. These two players, again, very good friends off the court. But when they're out there, they both mean business, both looking to add to their titles. Paul Drinkle, of course, four times English champion already. Liam Pitchford, hoping to win his first one here this afternoon. Great forehand there by Paul Drinkle, just good. showing his speed. Fast serve there, catching Pitchford out. Fast long into the backhand. Pitchford saw his opportunity but just missed the table. 7 5. Well, 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 brilliant play, incredible speed there, the coverage on the court there, Drinkle just getting his bat on the ball and then fortunately for him just clipping the edge of the table. That gives Paul Drinkle an 8-6 lead in this first set. Well, slightly different tempo to the previous match. Both these players, very aggressive, very quick. Go! A great rally there, Cookie. Both players back from the table, but wanting to hit the ball with heavy top spins. Lovely. Yeah, great Drinkle. camera angle there, just seeing how much court coverage they've got to make in such little time. I think this time Eight, that ball nine. by Leon Pitchford, just clipping the edge. So, nothing in it, this first game. Great return of serve there. Flicked very hard and followed up with a good forehand. Bringing two game points in the first. Paul Drinkle. That's very good play by Drinkle, taking his first opportunity when he did 
Strong forehand from the crossover down to the Pitchford forehand. Taking this opening set, 11-8. A great first set, Cookie. What are your thoughts? Yeah, great play. Um, both players coming out with the uh, intention to try to dominate. Very difficult against the players, both both very, very quick. Paul, probably slightly stronger on his forehand side. Uh, Liam Pitchford, probably stronger on his backhand side. But Makes for an interesting matchup, doesn't it? Very quick points, very aggressive. Any loose balls there being dispatched. But still a long way to go. Drink all with the titles already in the bag. Just taking that first set. They both demonstrated them great power over the table. Wanted, wanted to hold the table well. Great exchange of over, over the table. Fantastic start to this final. Absolutely. And I think to be a top, top player, you've got to be good. Both close to the table. And both these players very capable of playing from deeper positions as well. But looks like they both know they've got to do most of their business close to the table if they're going to win this match today. A good fast opening start there by Liam Pitchford. The ball from Paul just popping up slightly and Liam was onto it very quickly. Very good shot. Showing his intentions. Again, third ball attack following the serve up. And again, returned in kind. Pitchford doing the same. Good serve, looking to follow him behind the service. Again, the Pitchford backhand forcing Drinkle away from the table. And eventually Pitchford coming out, winning that point. That was good from Drinkle. Attacking into the backhand side, then switching the play down to the forehand side. Fast footwork, very well done. Great, great play. And it's so difficult to see just the speed that's involved on TV. But I can assure you that it's like lightning. Paul Drinkle stepping around that backhand side to play forehand attacks. Clever play there by Drinkle, just wait, leaving the flick late, sending Pitchford the wrong way. What a shot that was. Fast serve from Drinkle. Brilliant. Pitchford was equal to it, fast round the corner, getting his forehand down the line. Yeah, great power as well from that position. Go! Go! Pittsburgh just chucking that ball up, just with that bit more spin on it, taking the pace off it a little bit. Yeah, throwing the ball a little bit higher. Just Paul losing the technique a little bit there. Drinkle serving 5-7. Great play there. Drinkle more famous for his forehand attack, but on this occasion, brilliant backhand there, followed by a great forehand. 
Ashford with a slight lead, 8-6. Chesterfield looking for his first senior national title singles. And that brings him four game points in this second. Brilliant shot there, Paul Drinkle. Backhand down the line. Great use of the table there by Drinkle. Four and down the backhand side, changing the angle down the forehand side, and again down the backhand side, just catching the edge, I think. Liam Pitchford with a slight advantage in this second set, 10 8. And there we go. Pitchford takes the second set. Drinkle just flicking the ball slightly long. That brings this men's singles final to one game all here at Ponds Forge in Sheffield at the English National Table Tennis Championships. It's too close to call at the moment, isn't it, Cookie? One all. Yeah, difficult to say. There's not, doesn't seem to be a lot in it. Um, both players trying to play aggressively. Very, very difficult one to call. Been around asking a few players who they thought would win today, and it's split. I think most people feel ha Paul having won a few titles gives him a slight advantage. But I'm sure Liam Pitchford is looking to take his first senior national title here today. So he certainly won't be uh, giving this up easily. He'll be hoping for the local crowd to get behind him. Just Chesterfield just been down the road. You're all too famous for that place. Yeah, well he's got a slight advantage, I think, in the locals being here, supporting him today. Third game, Pitchford to serve, love all. Great power demonstrated by Paul Drinkle, turning on the hip, getting his forearm deep into the backhand of Liam Pitchford. So quick at stepping around that corner. This time, shows his backhand skills. He's quick and wanting to get on with it, isn't he? Yeah, he's fired up. Certainly looks up for this. And again, brilliant, great brilliant backhand. backhand. So much skill. Superb timing. What a Thanks. shot. Wow, wow. This is Paul Drinkle at his very best. He's on fire right now. Absolutely top class table tennis. That's great play again. He's following it. Oh, point after point at the moment. I think Liam just needs to weather the storm a little bit here. Just try and settle himself, get back into this set. Great, double forehand there, forehand into the backhand side, then switching the angle, switching it quickly. Forehand into the backhand side, forehand side. Well, I think Paul's showing glimpses of the, the quality player he is. Just needs to be a little bit more consistent, and to be honest, if he can play like this, he's difficult, even for the very best players in the world. So 
Harold Drinkle playing an incredible game of table tennis here. They gain points. Pitchford wants to get on with the match. Serves it long and out. That gives Paul Drinkle a 2-1 lead. So, Sean, things looking difficult there. Any thoughts? What would you be telling Liam Pitchford at this stage? I've not been an international player myself, Cookie. Thanks for dropping me in it at the wrong time. But um, I think the way Paul Drinkle played then was just absolutely amazing. It was just devastating to see how good he was. He was fast on his feet. He was aggressive. He was playing strong top spins all over the table. I think, if anything, Pitchford looks to, needs to try and keep it a little bit tighter if he can and look to, look to follow him with quality topspin afterwards just to break up the rhythm of Paul Drinkle, to be honest. Correct. Uh, I, I think sometimes, no matter what you do, if Paul's in that sort of form and you're giving him the balls in open play, he's well capable of hitting backhands and forehands past you. So I think Liam's just got to mix it up a little bit, sometimes a few more short balls, and then maybe when he's, he's got the better in the, in the longer open rallies, then he can play more attacking play but I think just got to weather the storm sometimes with uh, Paul in that sort of form here we go drink all leads two games to one fourth game Great point. Both players showing the skills from deep positions. Great backhand topspin from Drinkle there. And what a shot. Round the net, down the line to take the second point of this game. Pitchford worked that point so well. The backhand down the forehand side and followed up with a good forehand, but just missed that opportunity there. Yeah, not easy. Not easy misses because he knows that if he doesn't hit the white lines, then likely it is. Paul Drinkle's going to be back at him again. So some people call them unforced errors. I'd be reluctant to say that was unforced when Drinkle's chasing those balls down. Well, that's a side of Paul Drinkle's play we don't see too often. He's normally the one smashing and pushing people off the table. This time it was Liam Pitchford that pushed Paul back. And after a long point, just managing to win it. Drinkle serving 2-3. Stephen Bailey in the corner there, cheering his player. That was a great shot by Pitchford. Third ball, attack, off his serve, clean winner. And again, I think that's one of the biggest areas he's improved this last 12 months. He's always had a very strong backhand, but it's certainly increased the power in his forehand side. And again, great power again on the backhand side. Moving and switching the play. Gaining a good lead in this fourth set, 6 2. Great flick. Paul Drinkle made it look easy. Again, a good flick, tried to send Liam the wrong way, but he was ready for it. Yeah, great backhand down the line, give him 7-3 lead.
Good play by Drinko, mixing up the pace, forcing him back and bringing him in. Great power there by Pitchford. The ball just popping up slightly from the drink hole shot. And Pitchford was on it quickly. Bang, great shot. Yeah, Liam a little bit frustrated there. Felt he should have made that shot. down the line gives him a two point cushion again brilliant backhand there by Leon Pitchford that gives him three game points Liam Pitchford takes it on the first time of asking. Great forehand angle, forcing Drinkle out wide. He was unable to come up with the goods. Liam Pitchford levels the match. Two sets all in this exciting men's singles final. So back the players come, two games all. Pitchford gonna start us off in this fifth game. Brilliant rally. Both players there in full flow. And a fantastic backhand by Pitchford there. Gives him a two point lead. That's great play by Pitchford, switching the backhand the shots there down the forehand, then tying him into the backhand side, and then clean winner down the forehand side. Great play. Acknowledging that the table that the ball just touched the table, 
just there, faint edge. Such a good start by Liam Pitchard in this fifth set, 4-0. Paul just looking for a little bit too much power in that shot, Sean. First time he's been behind in this match. One, Again, looking for that bit more power into it, just as you said. Just snatching that little bit, trying to force it. Great return there. Brilliant that backhand topspin. It's been quite popular, hasn't it, in this game? Yeah, most of the top players now using that return, that backhand. And again, Leon Pitchford backhand down the line, proving successful. Just one or two mistakes creeping in by Paul this game. Put Liam Pitchford put him under a lot of pressure, played very well in this set. Brilliant forehand flick followed by a brilliant forehand top spin. Paul Drinkle serving 4-10. And there we have the fifth game. Liam Pitchford takes it 11 4 to move into a three games to two lead. The first time that Liam Pitchford has been ahead in this final, three games to two. Interesting the psychology now. Paul, been there, done it, won this title on four occasions already. Liam Pitchford, he's won many things. He's won the under 21 title, he's won the junior titles, yet to have won this senior national men's singles title he's now within one game sean yeah he's showing he's, he's, he's very keen he wants to get on with things looking at that Went to, going back to the table early showing his intent yeah our friend john davis from chesterfield in his corner he'll just be giving him the support that liam needs probably not telling him too many tactical things i'm sure liam already knows what he needs to do Can the experience of Paul Drinkle bring him back into this match? Four times national champion, find himself two games to three down. That's a good start by Pitchford. Hold it, still maintaining the table. Back on top spin again, following up with a, an even better back on top spin. Yeah, I think important, Sean, that Liam does try to stay close because if, if he gives Paul a little bit too much room, Paul is one of the quickest player, players in European table tennis. So I think very important that, sh that uh, Liam stays close. I feel very much Paul needed that point. And he, and he moved his feet well, got in a strong position to put the ball down the forehand side. 2-1 this sixth set. Uh, one, thank you. Two, all. 
again, just a fine edge there. That might be an important point. Looked like he just overhit that, but in fact, caught the edge. So back to two all. No! Great long serve, catching Liam out. Just three, two. Looks like he's starting to get back into this match. He's starting to get a bit of positive. Yeah, he's just been coming up in, in. Up in the volume when he wins his points. A little bit of psychology going on out there. Returned in kind. My Leon, this time when he wins the point. Great, ba great play by Pitchford. Seeing Drinko wanted to get his forehand in, so he played it very close to his hip, limiting him to level this set at 4 all. Interesting there. Playing a slightly slower ball. Paul Drink all into the backhand of Liam Pitchford. Yo! Well, that was absolutely brilliant. That was great play. Quick backhands over the table. Great return. Fantastic counter top spin by Drink all. And having to play a second one at full speed before he actually won the point. That gives him a two point cushion. He's leading 4 6. In the sixth game. Good play by Leon Pitchford, forcing Paul Drinkle back. And again, the big wind up forehand, eventually winning that point. That was a good exchange of tight play over the net. Liam, who sees the opportunity to step in and play aggressive backhand over the table to level this set at six all. Little bit lucky. Again, Paul Drinkle opting to play the fast serve. He's using it quite regularly during this match. But this time, Pitchford ready for it. He's serving at seven all. Brilliant, brilliant. Backhand top spin down the line. Good short serve. The ball just popping up a fraction. That's all he needs. Him with a world class backhand to win that point. So, young man from Chesterfield. 9 7 up, Drinkall calls a timeout. That's a, a good decision by Drinkall. The momentum was just going away from him, weren't it? With the two points difference now. Yeah, and just, just going to make Liam think about this for a minute. It's not just a matter of beating Paul Drinkall, he's, he's got the other side of that of winning his first senior national title. And it's amazing the psychology how that can impact on players. I think he's just trying to break the concentration a little bit. Just trying to break his rhythm almost, isn't he? Big serve from, I think it's Drinkle serving, so it's gonna be a big point coming up. Yeah, Paul will be looking to follow in his serves to try and put the pressure on Leon Pitchford. So it's the current champion. Two games to three down, seven nine in the sixth. Good play by Paul Drinkall, good serve, followed it in, it in well. 
brings it back to one point difference. Serving at 8 9. Great defensive play there by Drinko. That was an opportunity, we feel. Well, it was fractions away. He went for it. He went for the white line right in the corner. It missed by a millimetre. But it's Pitchford serving, leading 3 2 at 9 all. No! Yeah! That serve just had a little bit more on it than the previous serves. Drinko yeah, just a little bit of top spin. So here we go. It's match and championship point. And there it is, first time the young you. man from Chesterfield wins his first senior national title against four-time champion Paul Drinkall in a great game, two top players playing a top match. But on this occasion, it's Liam Pitchford from Chesterfield coming out on top and winning what I'm sure will be the first of many national titles. Well done, Liam Pitchford. Congratulations, great game.